Does that make sense? What am I looking for in the stock market? Repeat after me. The power of 10. They got to say it like you really mean it. The power of 10. Come on, this, I'm about to give you some real heavy stuff right now. Right? The power of 10, okay? Uh, oh, some of you getting it. What is the power of 10? You take 10% of your income, invest it where you get a 10% return, and make a commitment to do it for 10 years. Take 10% of your income, invest it when you get a 10% return, and make a commitment to do it for 10 years. Now, I know some of you are saying, Calvin, I just don't have 10% right now. I wish I did. Well, I want to share this story with you about this man. He was 50 years old, but he committed a terrible crime. So a judge sentenced a 50-year-old man to 50 years in jail. The man said, Judge, I'm 50 years old. There's no way. I can do 50 years. And the judge was very understanding. He looked at the man and said, just do the best you can. <laughs> Some of you get that later. My friends, if you can't save 10%, save 5%. Just do the best you can. If you can't save 5%, save 3%. Just do the best that you can. If you can't save 3%, save 1%. Just do the best that you can. The most important thing we have to do right now is really get in this habit of saving on a regular basis. The easiest way to do that is have them take money out of your account each and every month and put it to a saving. Just put it to a saving. Now, for a while, it's going to be hard, just like when you start tithing. You know, first couple months you did that tithing thing, it was kind of difficult, wasn't it? But you got used to it. But let me share with you a way that people save more than 10% of their income. Are you all ready for this? How many people in this room are working? Are y'all lucky? God, uh, all my friends are unemployed. Anyway, <laughs> y'all working, that's good. But a lot of times, this is what you're going to find. When you work, especially in corporate America, I know you're even during recession, but every year you're going to get a small raise, even if it's for inflation sometimes. It might be 2%. Historically, it's about 4%. But my point is, every time you get a raise, you want to keep 50% of your raise. Does that make sense to you? For example, if you get a 4% raise this year, you want to have 2% automatically taken out of your account and invested somewhere, whether it's in a savings account, whether it's in a 401k, whether it's in a pension plan. Does that make sense to you? Now, you did that this year. Next year, you get another 4% raise, and you save 2%. Now you're saving what? 4% of your income? Are y'all with me? The following year, you get another raise. You do the same thing. After five years, you start saving, what, 10% of your income, okay? And you didn't have to impact your standard of living. Does that make sense to you? Now, some of you who are self-employed, you have to give yourself a raise. Because a lot of us who are self-employed, we, we pay everybody else, but we never give ourselves a raise. 